Yeah, hello and welcome to my use case, um, um, OpenNMS Config Management um, with Redmine. Um, my name is Marcel and I'm uh, working as an administrator here in Fulda um, for a company which sells upper class cleaning systems like air, uh, air or vacuum cleaners. And yeah, first you need to know I'm not experienced in speaking English. Um, and I'm a little bit nervous, <laughs> um, but it's an international um, event and I don't want to be the only one who is presenting his use case in German, so I will try it in English. <laughs> um, yeah, we're using OpenNMS since two years and as time passed, um, I noticed that OpenNMS configs and changes had been more and more complex and um, it became more difficult to keep an overview. It didn't take a long time to solve this problem. Our developer already used Redmine for his work. Um, Redmine is a project, a software project management system. Um, and he also integrated Apache subversion for versioning his source code. Um, and with Redmine, he's able to gather new requests or errors uh, for his projects, for his programs, um, as, as Redmine tickets. And um, he can assign his new or changed source code to these tickets. And basically, my needs uh, were the same. Um, so I asked him to create uh, OpenNMS project for my proposals. Um, like OpenNMS, Redmine provides a web user interface to work with. And um, yeah, this web interface and its workflow I will present you today. Um, the first six topics will show the main pages of um, the web interface from Redmine. And the seventh point is a short practical example to show the workflow. Yes, the first page is um, the overview. And yeah, it's an overview <laughs> of this project. There's one part for project description. And I just put a link to the OpenNMS website. Um, there's one part to uh, to have an overview um, about all tickets, the amount of tickets, um, their, their tracker, and how many open tickets exist. <coughs> and one section shows the project members and their rights. They are managers or uh, developer or employer, employers. Um, and one part is uh, for the project news. The activity page, um, yeah, it's kind of boring. I'm the only one who uses <laughs> this Redman project, so every activity is done by me. Um, but yeah, it's a kind of a flock. All activities are shown there. And for example, um, you can see edit files in this project, or here's a new ticket called uh, optimization performance or a ticket change. Um, and also you can see um, new source code revisions of OpenNMS config. The ticket system, um, here you can see all tickets. And there's just one rule, no changes without a ticket. Um, I try to do that, but doesn't uh, uh, work every time. Um, yeah, basic um, um, tickets. Every ticket needs a title and a description. That's that's, uh, that's normal. But there are some basic information. Um, there is a tracker. I normally use just feature or error, and um, there is a category. Every ticket can and should be assigned to a category, for example, performance or notifications, um, et cetera. 
Um, furthermore, there is a ticket status, and who would have thought it? It shows the ticket's progress. And yeah, you can set filters at the top of this table um, to get a better view, uh, a more detailed view of all your open tickets. This one shows all open tickets. Um, yeah, it's all uh, German content, content but um, it doesn't matter, I think. There's a wiki, uh, there's a news page for uh, Redman projects, and um, I use news to publish new uh, greater changes or new implementations or um, uh, wiki entries um, yeah, to publish information about greater changes and and so stuff. stuff. Yeah, here's, here are just wiki entries, but um, 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 yeah, this wiki entry here, for example, it contains um, a link to my strafe ping wiki or to the KSC reports wiki I've created, and um, I've configured my open NRS Redmine project to send emails for every news entry. So every project member will be informed when I do some changes. There's uh, the wiki page. I'm the only one in our company who's administrating OpenNMS, so I try to document everything, or most of everything. Um, <coughs> Most of it are definitions in a few sentences, but um, it's important that my boss or my coworker is able to uh, to get an overview of how open NMS works or open NMS works in our company, and so I try uh, to document everything. Um, for example, um, how is um, the uh, the documentation about the installation of the operating system uh, or OpenNMS itself or what does Polity do or something like that. I noticed routines f uh, um, like update scenarios or using the Polity to configure, uh, to add or delete some nodes in your database. And for example, um, this is a wiki, um, how to change the availability view at the starting page, um, so where you can find the uh, config file or which part in it um, you need to change, or a little hint, does OpenNMS needs a restart for this config change? I think this drama is known by everyone <laughs> um, with the open, uh, OpenNMS restarts. Um, yeah. There's one uh, section for files. Um, yeah, and that's it. You can add files in your um, Redmine project. I use this function in, in my OpenNMS project just for the wiki pages, for the screenshots. But in other uh, Redman projects, I provide manuals or client tools or something like that. The project archive. This is really cool, I think. Um, here you can see all revisions of my open NMS configuration files. Um, Basically, you can view this um, of your old and new configs. Um, I will show one in the example. This project archive contains all files um, listed in openNMS slash etc. And yeah, it uh, provides a little graph about the usage of this project archive. Um, you can see revisions or changes per month and per author. But yeah, I'm 
the only one <laughs> who uses this one. It's not very beautiful in this case. Um, so let's combine all these uh, red mine parts uh, with my example. Um, I needed strafe pings for my branch offices. And um, yeah, so I've created a ticket called strafe ping visualization connection quality. Um, I wasn't sure which category I had to take for this ticket. Um, I finally took provision D because there were the most changes. Um, meanwhile, I know I can set multiple categories, but I will try this next time. Um, yeah, you can see the ticket's history in the, uh, on the lower side here. Um, there's a ticket status change from uh, verification to uh, accepted and from a status change from accepted to uh, in process. And in process means the real work. So my OpenMS configuration changes. And that's what I did. I in this case, I added a detector strafe ping in my requisition, requisition files. I changed the PolyD configuration to pull my branch office routers. And I created a K3 port to, yeah, to show all these new uh, strafe ping graphs. After that, um, an, a subversion needs a commit. And it's really simple. Um, subversion, um, yeah, every, time, every time I commit with subversion, um, it creates a new revision number for all my changed configuration files. And the call is simple. Um, it's svn commit uh, minus m. m stands for message, comment. I don't know. Comment. Thank you. Um, and then a little comment. And um, my Redmine configuration uh, knows how to handle the phrase OK or feature hash ticket number. There's OK to set the ticket status from, uh, not, from not from, to set the ticket, ticket status to closed. And feature lets the ticket status untouched. So you can decide. Um, if, if I'm done with my work or just a test or something like that. Um, <coughs> so, but before I finally did the commit, I added a little notice in this Redmine ticket um, what I've done. Uh, all branch office routers got strafe ping configured and created a K3 port. Just a little sentence uh, for everyone who needs to read this ticket. And then I did the commit. And you can see here the status change from an process to done, uh, to, to solved. And solved because I uh, used the OK phrase. and. Um, here you can see um, status changed from change set uh, R119. <coughs> That's the revision number subversion create, created. Um, I think in bigger in, in bigger uh, in bigger environments, it's maybe a, a little bit uh, more interesting the sequence here. Maybe in, in manager or boss will cancel a ticket because it's useless or something like that. Um, but I was lucky enough to implement, implement my new feature without any obstacles. So it's a an, an short example. Um, there's a Redmine ticket in the system um, for our automatic toner purchase. Um, our developer, I mentioned him already, uh, will present this use case tomorrow at 3 p.m. And it's no witchery, but really awesome. Um, 
and yeah, this ticket has plenty of um, revisions, commands, and status changes because we need needed a lot in, a long time to understand some um, open NMS and uh, understand and cheat some open NMS strategies like. Um, some automation, for example, the cosmic clean and something like that. Um, this ticket is really, really long. Um, but back on topic, um, yeah, at this point, we can take a look at the revision 119, it's shown here. Um, all revisions shows uh, are showing the um, change configuration files. You can view here uh, the diffs. Um, for example, this, this is the requisition file from uh, for my branch office routers. And yeah, on the left side you can see the old configuration state, on the right side uh, the new one. In this case it's the monitor service called uh, strafe ping in the interface tags, and for every router in this in this uh, requisition file, and yeah, it's a really nice feature to uh, keep an overview. Yeah, n now. Um, I closed this ticket. Um, yeah, stick is ticket status change from uh, solved to done, and with done, the ticket is closed. And but my work wasn't over. Um, I've created a little wiki called Strafe Ping. Um, just a few sentences. Um, What's in strafe ping and what uh, uh, what interfaces um, will be monitored and how to read the strafe ping graph, and then I created a little news entry for this wiki, so all project members were uh, informed about my configuration changes. And yeah, OpenNMS needed some time to collect um, the new strafe ping data. But after this time, um, I was able to look the um, the new strafe ping graphs. I guess most of all uh, already know the strafe ping graph, um, but for everyone else, I can shortly explain it. Um, there is the vertical axis that shows. Um, the latency in milliseconds and the horizontal axis, um, which is, a t is the timeline. The color of this graph um, shows the packet loss. Um, green is good or normal, and up to red, it's getting worse. The vertical fog you can see here is the latency fluctuation. So, yeah. The grave, uh, this graph is really cool um, to visualize the connection quality. It's, I can really recommend it for uh, for um, important connections or something like that. Yeah, and that's it. I survived my first English <laughs> presentation. <laughs> um, yeah, I never thought I would, treat, I would reach this point, but <laughs> I actually finished. Um, if, you, uh, if you want uh, uh, to download a Redmine appliance, you can download it at turnkeylinux.org slash Redmine. And yeah, I'm not our uh, Redmine administrator. Um, our developer does this, um, it's his work. So. Read my questions. I can't answer it. Then uh, I think, but 
if you have any questions, um, you can contact me via Jabber. Oh, and I think I can do my, I will do my best to help you or ich weiß nicht, was sagt man im Englischen, um Händchen zu halten, ich weiß es nicht. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for listening and have fun at the user conference. Yeah. Um, how do you handle um, configuration file changes which are not originated by you editing the files? Like you configure a scheduled outage, some files are being changed. How do you handle this? Collateral damage. It's um, some, some things. Um, but which configuration do you mean? Can you repeat, well, actually, please? My open method solution is a little bit old. It's 1.6, I hope it's still better. Uh, but if you edit the configuration files via the web UI, yeah, you configure all things or whatever you do, hmm. the files are changed on the, on the file system. So how do you, how do you sync this up? I use this uh, 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 subversion command and uh, give it into the bash and I do my changes on, on I add a new outage or a scheduled outage, then I go to bash, maybe for here, before I create a ticket, uh, new scheduled outages are required or something like that, um, do my work on the, on the website and then with a bash, um, SVN, commit, and that's it. The um, web apps jetty order uh, folder isn't included here, but I will try this to to fix this. But, um, I am I'm using this um, the outage and threshold alarm box, and this um, yeah you need to change this um, web app jetty files, and this changes I write down in, into the tickets. Manually. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much.